Hi guys, uh, this is Saurav Mato. Hey guys, I'm Stradis Trista. So we're basically here to uh, do two of the uh, experiments of, uh, which represents Bernoulli's uh, principle. And uh, the first one is gonna be the blow dryer and the second is gonna do with the balloons. And this is basically uh, a fluids project that we're gonna be doing out here. So uh, the first with the blow dryer is gonna be done by Stradis out here. Stradis, you wanna do it? So, Guys, uh, right now in my hand I have a blow dryer, a hot blow dryer, a blow dryer, and a ping pong ball. As you see, these are the ping pong ball is too light. And then uh, with the blow dryer, what happens is when we turn on the blow dryer thing, and then we put ping pong ball over it. You see, due to the high velocity carrying from blow dryer from its mouth to ball, the ping pong ball. It rotates, like it stays in the same position due to uh, low pressure in act over on this side. As you see, as I face this uh, on, on this side, the same thing is happening right now too. The velocity, the high velocity from the blow dryer, it is making ball, uh, this piece on ball to, uh, to move as it is. So, see the pressure. Pressure on this side is too low, and the pressure on the outside, uh, outside first, outside environment is going to be pretty much same. But on this one, the, uh, the, uh, the pressure is low, and the velocity uh, due to the blow dry is higher on the ping pong ball. So the ping pong ball goes in the air like this. So basically, it goes to burn the situation we have. And the next experiment for uh, the balloon, uh, balloon experiment, uh, balloon experiment. So, uh, Saurabh is going to show you how to uh, show you how Bernoulli's equation works on balloons too. So yeah, uh, I'll be needing some help with this and yeah, so this can you hold us two balloons in the same pipe? You see, I'm holding two balloons pretty much uh, in the same height frame in the head of the balloons. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be blowing the air between the balloons and normally uh, what you would think is that the balloon would be separating apart, but uh, with the help of Bernoulli's principle, we're gonna see that they're gonna be attracting towards each another, so. So here you can clearly see they're attracting each other and uh, we'll explain you the math uh, mathematics behind it uh, in the board right here. Uh, so the print, uh, so the equation that uh, for now this principle used is the Bernoulli equation, which is right over here. And uh, for the two experiments, uh, there is no involvement of G, G1 and G2 in the blow dryer experiment. But for the uh, balloon experiment, the the heights are pretty much the same, so the G1 and G2 gets canceled. So basically, for both of the experiments, uh, we all come down to this uh, formula right here. So uh, in both of the experiments, actually, uh, the V2 is much higher than V1 because uh, when the blow dryer is blown, the velocity right in the middle is way higher than the uh, surrounding velocities. So, uh, so which creates a, a, a lower pressure right in the middle. So all in all, because of the difference in pressure, uh, the ball sticks in the trajectory of the blow dryer and the balloon, they track each other because of the difference in pressure in the right in the middle. So, so that's pretty much it. That's the mathematics behind it. And that this sums up the Bernoulli's principle. Thank you. Thank you.